perfect so you can see that the inferencing is happening and it's able to direct all the persons perfectly fine and it's running very smoothly i mean it's, it's somewhere around 25 to 26 frames per second it was running very smoothly hello and welcome to rocket systems youtube channel so in our last videos we converted yolo v7 tiny pre-trained or custom model into a tensor rt engine on jetson nano now in this video we are going to follow the same step but we are going to do this on the jetson xavier so i have this jetson xavier i have installed xfce and i have set up everything we need in order to convert it into the tensor rt engine so without wasting any time let's get started So before we start, I'm just going to clone this repository. So the people who are new to the channel, let me tell you this repository contains all the files and this repository contains all the files which you need in order to convert your YOLO PT model into uh, the TensorRT engine. So I already, I also have another repository which is a YOLO V5 TensorRT. So if you want, you can refer to that repository if you are converting YOLO V5 model. But in this video, we are just going to focus on YOLO V7 model. So I'm just for, first going to clone this repository. So let's move inside the documents directory and then here I will clone this repository. And also in this video, we are just going to cover YOLO V7 tiny pre-trained model. We are not covering the custom model. So custom model we will do in the next video. But in this video, we are just focusing on the pre-trained model uh, and we will convert that into TensorRT on the Jetson, and Jetson Xavier. Now let's move inside this repository and again I've set up this uh, Jetson Xavier already so I don't need to run the setup file and install all those packages but if you're doing it for the first time you need to install all the libraries and the python packages let me just quickly show you how where it is. So this setup.txt file contains a list of all the packages which you need to install once you have installed this you can then follow all the steps mentioned in this build step uh, file. So I'll just open this file and because we are doing this on a pre-trained model so I have already I have already uh, saved the YOLO v7 tiny model into the repository so you don't need to download this model again so we can just simply run this command and then this command will basically convert the pt file into a wts file okay so this conversion is done let's just quickly do ls to see where our file is so this is our yolo v7 tiny wts file next we need to move inside the yolo v7 directory and let's create a build directory let's move inside the build directory and let's copy our wts file here so yolo v7 tiny dot wts okay there is a mistake here tiny dot wts and then we'll paste it here and then here we can then run the cmake command now because this is the pre-trained model so i don't need to convert oh sorry i don't need to change anything in this directory so for example if i go into include directory because this is a pre-trained model it's trained on the 80 classes so that's why I don't need to change this but if you're using a custom model then you need to change this to the classes you have in your custom model so let's close this let's go back to our terminal and then I'll simply write cmake oops cmake like this so cmake command is done now next we can run make command Okay, so the CMake command is also complete now. So now we can finally run this command to convert our WTS file into engine file. So I'll copy this and then I will paste it here. And then let's run it. So the engine file is now successfully built. Now we can test this engine file over the images which are already present in this directory. So let's copy this command and let's paste it here perfect so this is complete now let's go to the build directory because this is the directory where the output is saved and we can see the inferencing over these images these horses are being detected these persons are also being detected this football is also being detected which means that our engine file is now working perfectly fine now Let's also do inferencing over a video file. So 
what I'll do is that let's close this file and let's go back to our parent directory. Now we already have this app.py, this py, this Python script is simply, let me just quickly explain. So here it is just simply um, using the engine file. We are then loading the video file, which we already have in the repository. And then we are reading the frames and then we are here performing all the inferencing and then we are showing the output. So let me just quickly uh, run this Python code to see how this YOLO v7 tiny TensorRT version is performing on the Jetson Xavier. Perfect. So you can see that the inferencing is happening and it's able to direct all the persons perfectly fine and it's running very smoothly. I mean, it's, it's somewhere around 25 to 26 frames per second because it's running very smoothly. So this is how you can convert your YOLO V7 Tiny model into a TensorRT engine and then uh, do the inferencing on the Jetson Xavier. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel.